Hello everyone, and welcome to Jade Empire, the first of Bioware's legion of action RPGs. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. Here we have the character select screen, or rather the character creation screen. When the game first released on the original Xbox, there were six character models, three male, three female. But we're going to be going with my personal favorite, the seventh model, released as part of the Jade Empire Special Edition, or as it is on the PC, the only edition. But let's look at all of them first. This is Lou the Prodigy in the default version that you can just jump right in with. He is the balanced uh, male character, and also really weird looking. I, I don't know, there's just something about him that's... I don't know, it's something intangible. Monk Zeng, the one we'll be going with, a somewhat stereotypical Shaolin monk. You can't really see it right now, but on, on his forehead, like up by the, the shaved hair, he's got the six dots. He is the magic character type for, for male characters, and the only one of those by default uh, in, in the original release, I'm pretty sure none of them were magic-based. Woo the Lotus Blossom, the balanced female character. As I recall, she was also the one used most heavily for the for the uh, the promotion of the game. I can't imagine why. Furious Ming, my standard one through the through the original Xbox character uh, game, because I like dragon tattoos, and that's what his back is. He's basically Batista if he were a small Asian man. Tiger Shen, who's a freaking mountain. In fact, he's one of the tallest characters in the game. You won't meet any of these char any of these player characters that you don't pick, so if you just want to lord over everyone with your hugeness, he's the one to go with. But I'm gonna recommend you not take the character as default. As you can see, he's the strong. T he's the strong type, and I think he's the only strong type character by default. But the problem is, he has the white demon style, the worst style in the game. We'll talk about why later. Radiant Gen Z, basically Furious Bang, but with really big boobs. Like seriously, you could put someone's eye out with those. Uh. Scholar Ling, the female magic character, who wears a lot of tassels, and is and is the only woman to actually wear pants. And they're really nice pants too. They're like they're like disco pants with a dragon on one leg. I'd want I, if I were going disco dancing, I would want a dragon humping my leg the whole time. Wouldn't you? Anyway, let's move on. Gonna be doing a custom for this, and, uh... <laughs> somewhat true to life is, um... There, there are three... There are three stats here. Body, spirit, and mind. True to life, I will be putting nothing into mind. And barely anything into spirit. These, these correspond to your health, chi, and focus. Now, style selection. You have to take Heavenly Wave. It is not optional. It is the only support style that you can pick at the start of the game. And it's actually pretty good. Let's read it, shall we? Support style does direct damage in Chi Strike mode. We'll get to that. This style's power attack can initiate a harmonic combo that produces a health power-up. We will get to that as well. Fighters skilled in Heavenly Wave learn techniques that can slow their opponent to a crawl. While this support style does no damage on its own, a master can manipulate the chi in the area around opponents, rendering them sluggish and easily defeated. Even the most lightning fast of opponents can be slowed to a turtle's pace with the skillful application of Heavenly Wave. And actually, it is pretty good, though I don't tend to use it very much because I like, I like to just DPS things. Works for me. Thousand Cuts, arguably the best style in the game. 
martial style. This style can complete a harmonic combo. Thousand Cuts is aptly named, though the style does not involve blades. A master of this style relies on numerous light strikes in quick succession instead of singular punishing blows or thunderous kicks. Most opponents reel under such a relentless assault, unable to counter fast enough to find an opening for their own attacks. Thousand Cuts is basically the win button, cause um, it does an enormous amount of damage very quickly and doesn't leave you open. I don't think we're gonna take it though. It's down. It's only real downside is it's very short range. You gotta get right up on them. Leaping Tiger, or as I call it, Wolverine style. This is the one I'm gonna be picking, so you'll see why. Martial style. This style can complete a harmonic combo. With the vigor and speed of an animal, with <laughs> of the animal for which this martial style was named, Leaping Tiger dazzles onlookers as it carves up opponents. Practitioners of this style focus so completely on the strength and quickness of the tiger that razor-sharp claws seem to sprout from their fists. Hint, hint. The style's quick, quick leaping techniques and punishing strikes create a flurry of death that can keep even armed opponents at bay. Yeah, the, when it says that it seems like, like, like razor claws come out, they do. You get, you get three, like, it, it's Wolverine's claws. Like, straight up. I love it. White Demon. Martial style, this style can complete a harmonic combo. Many practitioners, cri <laughs> many martial artists criticize the White Demon style for being slow and ponderous, but in the hands of a true master, it can be one of the deadliest martial styles of all. While it lacks the crowd-pleasing panache of faster styles, White Demon's sheer power and intimidating techniques plow through opponents like an ogre in a tea house. This style sucks! It is agonizingly slow. And honestly, the damage isn't that great. It does perhaps slightly more than the others, but it does it so slowly that they'll outpace it rather quickly and Legendary Strike. Martial style. This style can complete a harmonic combo. Many in the Jade Empire have heard of Legendary Strike, but few have actually seen it in action. Fewer still have mastered this martial style, but those who are are to be fe <coughs> Those who have are to be feared. Their blows rain down too, too fast to block, and their kicks can quickly put an opponent out for good. This is basically Bruce Lee style. Not quite. But basically, it's really good. Now, let's move on. Wolverine style. Now we pick a name. Let's go through the randomizer and see if there's anything funny here. Howling Howloon. That's pretty good. Dongzi the Open Book. Slithering Shenji. Z? I don't know. Thundering Chi Chang. Bruiser Ji Sheng, Silver Breeze Cheng, Stubborn Kai Lang, Storm Cloud Ji Lun. I am butchering this. <laughs> Shattering Si I don't know. Poisonous Yu Ping. Let's just let's just go with with my name. And. Ignore that I failed to spell my own name. Please? <laughs> this actually takes quite a bit longer to load than I was expecting. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. As with any Bioware game, there's kind of two ways to play this. You could be, you could be, like, pure holiest guy ever, or a complete dick. Yeah, I, I, I kind of prefer to go the good guy route, or as this game calls it, open palm. So let's make fun of him. I could blindfold myself, that might even the odds. <laughs> For all that, he's trained you to be the best of us. 
You're not Master Li yet. I would welcome another match with you, though. What say one more before we break for the day? I am rarely beaten, friend. Oh, there it is, and it, it's not six, it's nine. Let's my it's my fault, it. sorry. I don't know why I pointed at the screen. Welcome to tutorial mode! And see, I told you, Wolverine style. Yeah. Th this fight is... See, what he's doing now, that's White Demon. You can see why I didn't want it. Ow. Despite what the, uh... Despite what it says down there, I'm actually using the PS4 controller for this. And now I just beat the crap out of him. I have this on normal difficulty, except for the minigames, which I have set on easy because, well, I'm not very good at them. Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. Thank you for the bow. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Where is Master Lee again? Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. Hint, hint. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Chapter 1, wherein a master foretells of doom, a rival challenges for station, and the past haunts the present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of two rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will be... That soon you will know more about how you came here, and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest, and shadowy assassins who heed no law. And I think that's where we're going to cut it here. But first... Whee! Yeah, a bit of a complaint I have about this. The controls are weird. You're... If I remember correctly, in the original Xbox version, the, the movement controls are more freeform out of combat, but here, even with a controller, it treats it like you're using the mouse and keyboard. It's very janky, and I don't like it. And, uh, down is up. And, uh, if you press up, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, uh... See you next time.